iMac. This one does not boot into macOS. So, to torture it even further, I have created a USB stick that also doesn't have macOS on it. It has Windows XP macOS edition. Does this thing even turn on? D did me dropping it the last video just break it entirely? What do you mean, no what? Flashing question mark in a folder. Oh, so you're telling me my 20 year old thumb drive doesn't work, huh? All right, I've tried writing it to this thing, it didn't work. So then I burned a CD. That's an interesting- Oh, it's booting! Is it doing anything? I don't hear the disk drive spinning anymore, so that's a good sign. Alright, so the disk I was trying to boot from was actually a CDRW. I know that certain OSs and certain DVD drives don't like rewritable CDs, so... I have permanently burned a CDR! I only have one more CD left, my precious CDs, and I've contaminated it with Windows XP Mac OS edition. As a last effort, will it boot from the regular CD? <laughs> Cursor. Oh, it's booting. Oh, this is not <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. All right, I don't know what I was expecting for Windows Mac OS edition. Okay, the mouse doesn't work. Does the? Can I at least? Yeah, good, I can select stuff. Okay, what do I want to do? Okay, let's explore the other things before we go into the actual setup. Nymen Nymentic Norton Ghost. What is that? Let's go there. Starting boot CD. Windows XMS driver. What is all this? Cannot load command. All right, I guess this is as far as we're getting into this thing. Not sure what that ever would have been, but... Oh god, this boot screen's never gonna get old. What's next? Partition magic. We'll probably need to use this anyway, so let's do it. Oh, cool. Causeway error 07, unable to control A20. I don't know what that means. Norton Partition Magic Pro. This product and its use are subject to a license agreement. Yeah, I'm sure this is legally put on this ISO, for sure. Is this DOS? Hello. Start, setup, D-I-R. This is DOS. Oh my god, why am, why are we in DOS? Hyren's 9.8. This is Hyren's boot CD. What? All right, well, um, let's do PQ magic. Oh, it just loads it again. Oh, I guess because it literally is erroring. Okay, well, can we exit? This boot screen really is a work of art. Also, I don't think that's how you spell immediately. All right, well, do we need to fix the NLTDR missing? What is that? Select the operating system to start. So this is like the Windows startup recovery thing, but it's like weird. All right, well, let's do this one. What does that do? Oh, it just reboots the Mac. Okay. All right. What else? Password remover. <laughs> Interesting. I don't think I would ever put this into my computer, by the way. Let's just choose logical drive. Logical drives have not been found. That's not a good sign. Okay. Well, let's exit this. Oh, now we're just in regular DOS. Can we get out all the way, please? Okay. So we've explored everything. Most of it was useless. Actually, I think all of it was useless to me, but at least we saw it. Let's install Windows XP Mac OS X edition. Okay. Enter. Oh, it's... It's just the regular Windows XP setup. Okay, well, that's that's good so far. I can't believe I have to run this installer from an actual CD. This is going to take eons. What do you mean it's Windows XP? This is Mac OS, of course. This is Mac OS X. The latest and greatest Mac OS for this iMac right here. Guess we'll go through the setup. I agree. Sure. Oh, good. It, it detects my disk. That's great. Probably don't want to format the entire hard drive with this because that's just going to take forever. So do 30 gigabytes. Install. And we're going to do quick because I don't want to wait. This may take several minutes. Oh, it's done. Now it's copying files. Yay, we're installing Wind... I mean Mac OS. My dreams will come true. Well, I'll start recording when it's done. Is it booting from the CD again? It is. Don't boot from the CD, and that's not how you spell immediately. There's two M's. We got boot from hard disk. <laughs> Where's my keyboard? Oh, look! That is the most stupid thing I've ever seen. That was a JPEG of an Apple logo. Oh, wow. The mouse works. Yeah, that looks like a Mac OS. Nope. Never mind. Oh, that looks great. Oh, it's Leopard! Yeah, this is totally legit. This thing would actually have Leopard on it. I think it actually did have Leopard on it before I obliterated it with SteamOS first. Um, also, Soften. Just ignore the Windows XP professional setup. This is Mac OS, of course. We'll call it the Y Mac, because like, Windows Mac? Yeah, Windows iMac? Y y yeah, y you get it. Next. Oh! It just comes with a product key entered. Alright, that's not just blatant piracy. Cool, okay, next. <laughs> And we don't need a password, because why be secure on the world's least secure OS that I'm installing? Yeah, it's 5.09 AM, that's real, sure, next. Oh god damn it, I just turned off my camera, there's more setup. Networking settings, we'll just do typical network settings. No, I don't want it to be in a work group, whatever, next. Copying files. Alright, I'll be back in 800 years. Alright, boot from hard disk. What kind of horrors are we gonna see? <laughs> that Apple logo is so crusty. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, Mac OS 10 by Soft... Mm. All right, I'm like 30% sure there's supposed to be sound here. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I'm booting this up on my PC. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is this music? There's freaking loud music playing. Okay, I'll let this sit here for a minute. You have to hear the high-pitched chipmunk part. Why? My only question is why. I don't even know what I was expecting with this. What have they done to Windows XP? Okay, I had to listen to that entire song. That was... That was something. I don't know if it's going to connect to the internet. No, I'm not going to plug this into my router. Nope. Ready to register with Microsoft. <laughs> I would love to see the look on Microsoft's face when they get this. Who will use this computer? Me. Thank you, you're reg ready to go. Great, finish. Oh, what? That was extremely loud. This looks very Mac-y. Good job, guys. Now, where is my OS? Oh my god. Holy mother of jank. So we've got every logo known to man. Of course I want the Apple logo. Why would I not? That one, please. Oh, now we're using Windows 7 assets with the Windows Classic theme with the Mac OS blue background and mouse. Interesting. Windows Genuine Advantage notifications. Part of Microsoft's effort to reduce software piracy. <laughs> Amazing. Next. I agree. Oh, cool. It's updating. With what? Oh, cool. It finished. Validation results. Thank you for validating your copy of Windows. Yeah, Microsoft is continually improving our anti-piracy technology. No, I don't need to know any benefits of using genuine software. Oh, cool. <laughs> All right, so we're in Mac OS Windows XP edition, or whatever it's supposed to be now. And of course, half of everything has Mac icons, half of everything else has Windows icons. All right, the little spotlight button does not do anything. So what kind of settings do we have? I really need to get to the actual control panel. Where is that? Can I have like something that's like a good resolution on here? Why is this thing recording in the most disgusting resolution possible on my phone? Hold on. All right, well, I'm sorry that looked absolutely horrible the whole time. Oh my god. I, okay, this thing does not have display drivers. Can we do like 16-bit colors to make it a little bit better? That actually is running slightly better. All right, I've scoured the internet and I found some boot camp drivers for this thing so we can get sound and video. Hopefully this works because this is for a 17-inch iMac, not a 20-inch one. Oh, cool. Boot camp installer completed. Finish. Finish. There's no H. There's no L on cancel either. Okay, interesting. You must restart your computer. Yee. Yeah, let's do it. Ah! I'm assuming that sound is working now. What a beautiful piece of art this is. Look at that beautiful, crusty Apple logo. I'm really enjoying this so far. It really brings the Mac experience to the Windows side of things. What do we look at first? All right, so it, it that does sort of look like the time stuff. That looks really good. You know, I was expecting a bad job of this, but so far everything looks very Mac os -y. Windows Media Player. What does Media Player look like? Oh, cool, we've got music on here. <laughs> Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Cool. And we've got Speaking Out. All right, what else? Is Let's tour Windows XP inside of Windows XP Mac OS Edition. That should be interesting. Please tell me they've altered this in some way. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft. Okay, they haven't altered this in any way. Oh, we've got Pinball and Minesweeper and Hearts and all this stuff. All right, let's go through them. Do they look any different on Windows XP Mac OS Edition? Free Cell. Nope. In, in fact, it looks pretty uncanny, and I don't know how to use this. Minesweeper. Yeah, I have no idea how to play Minesweeper. Pinball. Is it going to be extremely loud? Probably. Oh my god. Turn it down. What buttons move the paddles? The bump- the flippers aren't working. The flippers aren't working, I repeat. The flippers are not working. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. My keyboard is not being recognized properly. You are not going to see me play pinball. These are just all Windows XP games. There's not really anything special, but here's Spider Solitaire. Well, that's about as far as I would like to get into this. We got uh, some accessories. Did they change the calculator? Oh, they sort of did. The, all the buttons are kind of Mac OS y. Does Microsoft Paint look any different? It doesn't really. Draw a little guy. Let's draw a little picture. There's my little guy. Doesn't he look great? For Windows Explorer, they did a great job at making this look very Mac ish. I mean, it's sort of obvious that something's a little bit off. It does sort of. Oh, that doesn't look right, though. Oh, we found an unskinned folder. Look at that. There's an imposter among us. And I like how this is obviously the taskbar. What if I unlock it and just, like, shove it somewhere else? Yeah, that's normal. <laughs> oh, no. You can see the Windows XP leaking through. Okay, quick, lock it back. Okay, let's listen to all the sounds they put in here. What is this one? <laughs> so it's like a weird auto blow. 
Okay, that's just Windows XP. That's Mac, I think. Yep, that was very loud. If you go to the taskbar options, it's actually like customized to look like the taskbar on here. Does it have a microphone? Hello! It does, it's very quiet. <laughs> okay, camera audio for a second. I'm gonna try to install Ableton on this and make a song with the included system sounds. So that'll be interesting. I'm gonna run the Ableton Live 8 setup. Okay, change of plans. I put Ableton 7 on here. It's working. It, it kind of just looks like Ableton 7 on a Mac. Does it recognize my keyboard? It does. Mission accomplished. All right, I'm gonna make a song on here. I think we've basically explored the entire operating system. Mainly, the interface looks very good. It looks very Mac OS-y, but like, obviously, it's got Windows icons everywhere. But this looks very good and um, actually seems pretty usable. It's not like super bloated or anything, which is great. Surprisingly not silly. I intend to also look at a Windows 7 one. Uh, I don't think it's as good. But we'll get to that eventually. I'm still working on 3DS stuff and the Windows 95 on my TV. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. And if you'd like to see more subscribe and thank you for watching.